Hello students. So now in this video, we are going to see the problem based on higher order differential equation when the right hand side is e to the power ax into some function of x. So let's see how to solve such type of questions and get the solution of differential equation by using the steps which we have used, which we have learned in the previous video. So here we have d square minus 6d plus 13 into y equal to 8 into e to the power 3x into sine 2x. So guys, to solve this higher order differential equation, if you observe the right hand side, it is in one form that is e to the power ax into function of x. So it is matching with our type e to the power ax into v where v is sine of 2x. So guys, I'm going to use those steps to get the solution of this equation. So these are the steps. So according to step number one, we have to first find out the complementary function and then we'll find out the particular integral. So guys, to get the complementary function, here we have f of d will equate it to zero, we'll find the auxiliary equation and we'll find out the complementary function. Now, the last term, or I would say the constant is 13, and for 13 we don't have factors, since it's a prime number. We'll use the formula method to get the roots of this quadratic equation. So therefore, d is minus b, b square, which is 36, minus 4ac, so 4 into 1 into 13, which is 52 upon 2. Now this is negative 16 so we will get 6 plus or minus the root of negative 16 is 4i upon 2. So guys we can say that the value of d is 3 plus or minus 2i. So 2 3s are 6 and 2 2s are 4. So guys here we got two roots and these are complex and distinct. So let's find out the CF for this. So therefore, CF is e to the power real part which is 3x in the bracket C1 cos of imaginary part that is 2x plus C2 sin of 2x. So guys, this is the value of CF. Now, let's find out the PA that is the particular integral. So particular integral is given by the formula 1 upon function of d. So here the f of d is d square minus 6d plus 13. Into the right hand side. Now guys let's compare this given form with our type. So we have function of d in the denominator and we have e to the power ax into v form here where the value of a is 3. So e to the power ax is e to the power 3x so a becomes 3. So guys that is given by this formula that is e to the power ax separate then 1 upon function of d plus a. So since my a is 3 in this question, I will replace d with d plus 3. So guys, here 8 is a constant outside. e to the power 3x into 1 upon, I will replace this d with d plus 3. So into sine of 2x. 
Now, eight e to the power three x as it is. This will become d square plus six d plus nine. This is minus six d. This is minus eighteen plus thirteen. into sine of 2x now 8 e to the power 3x into 1 upon d square now guys let's simplify this so here i can cancel 6d with negative 6d and we will get 9 plus 13 22 minus 18 that is plus 4 and sine of 2x as it is. So here we will apply this 1 upon d square plus 4 on sine of 2x. Now guys since the function is sine of ax that is why we will use the rule which we have seen in the method of sine of ax where we said replace d square by minus a square in f of d. So that is why I will replace the d square with minus 4 because 2 is a so minus a square is minus 4 but if i replace this d square with minus 4 i will get minus 4 plus 4 0 and denominator can't be 0 and hence we will find out the derivative of this so here we will get pi as 8 e to the power 3x into x upon 2d so 2d is a derivative of d square plus 4 into sine of 2x now 2 4 is 8 so 4 x e to the power 3x and guys the value of d is d by dx that is derivative but 1 upon d is the integration so integration of sine of 2x is negative cos of 2x by 2. So this is 2 1 the 2 2 2 the 4. So we'll get negative 2x e to the power 3x into cos of 2x. And this is the value of particular integral. So guys, we got the value of complementary function and particular integral. Now the last step or the last step is pi plus cm. That is addition of particular integral and complementary function will give me the complete solution or the final solution so you just have to copy down these two values over here to get the final answer so i'm sure that you understood how i applied that concept in this question and i got the answer so guys keep watching our videos in the next video i'm gonna take one more numerical on the higher order differential equation when right hand side is e to the power ax into some function of x and don't forget to subscribe to Ikeda channel because then only you will be able to get the updates about the Ikeda videos that we are posting each and every day. Also, share this channel with your friends so that they can also get updates about these videos and they can also get benefited through this Ikeda channel. Thank you very much.